tech stocks taking a bit of a breather in August with the Nasdaq down one and a half percent. Can the 2023 rally pick back up in the fall? Deidre Bosa joining us now with the September setup for tech. And Deidre, we've been seeing this market uh, broadening out in terms of leadership, in terms of uh, energy and industrials. Is there a chance we could see the same in tech? Yeah, we could see certain parts of tech accelerate. And we know that so far this year, chips have really had their time in the sun. So now investors, they may be looking to software for reacceleration. A couple of earnings last night underscoring a theme that we have seen emerge over the last month or so. Software versus semis told through MongoDB and Broadcom today. The latter is up. Uh, was up nearly 6%, giving up some of those gains, but that was on a strong beat, while Broadcom lower by about 6%. MongoDB's results and consumption-based model bode well for peers like Datadog, Snowflake, Confluent. There was also the Oracle upgrade in Shopify, which surged on its Amazon partnership, propelling the software space. Add expectations that the rate tightening cycle is over, and there you go, guys, the rotation to growth in software that could have legs. The bar for semis, meanwhile, seems to have only gotten higher. NVIDIA's massive beat and raise last quarter had a more limited effect on the stock and Broadcom's inline outlook. It just wasn't enough for the street. This could all suggest a shift in the AI hype cycle at large as well. The upside for chips, the picks and shovels of the boom, that may already largely be priced in. So now investors, they could be looking for leaders in cloud data management and new AI products and apps through software names. Now, we showed you this chart a few months ago when chips were getting all of the attention. It looks at the mobile shift as a roadmap. Investors, they piled into semis first, and then they look to infrastructure, and then software and services. Now, it seems to be playing out in the generative AI cycle as well, guys. So we saw chips at the beginning of the year, and now perhaps we might be in the next phase of it where investors are looking for monetization and actual products and apps. It's an interesting call. I mean, what I, what I hear you saying is that the, that the brightest days for NVIDIA may have come and that, that the future is already priced in and that what, we should, what we're going to see is software ascendant. Software, infrastructure. Infrastructure is sort of next in that chart, and that would be the Datadogs, the Snowflakes, the MongoDBs. Still remains to be seen. It could be a player that we don't even know yet. But you're right, Tyler. Maybe the pricing and maybe the upside has been priced in for chips. NVIDIA, though, you got to be careful, yeah. right? Because this may be the exception. Yeah, maybe the exception. They're so hot. They're such a darling. And they have so much market power uh, that it would be very hard exactly. to, to bid it. But again, Deidre, have a great weekend. See you next week.